morning, Rabbi Perry. Good morning, Angelique. So uh, a question I heard a lot is the following. Is it allowed for Noahide to say Shabbat Shalom? Okay, thank you for your question, Angelique. Um, it is permitted for Noahide to wish a Jew Shabbat Shalom. If he meets a Jew in the street on Friday, um, even Earlier in the week, we can say from uh, Wednesday, Shabbat Shalom, but generally, uh, Noah Haid will only have the conscience when he sees a Jew that is preparing for Shabbat within his clothes of Shabbat to tell him Shabbat Shalom. That is permitted. Um, between two Noah Haids, that's not permitted to Noah Haid to take Shabbat Shalom because, as you know, uh, Shabbat is a Jewish commandment. And a Noahide should not make a Shabbat for himself. This being said, a Noahide is definitely allowed it to, like we mentioned it several times, and I will say it uh, with some something new, that a Noahide can definitely have a Friday night dinner and make a blessing on wine and on bread and discuss Torah matters. And um, a, on Shabbat during the day, he can definitely have a longer prayer and study and a meal with the with the family. Further than that, a Noahide can definitely be invited in the home of a Jew. And if they meet in the door, of course, a Noahide will say Shabbat Shalom to the Jew, and the Jew generally is going to say Shabbat Shalom as the, the Noahide at that moment he is included in the reality, in the Jewish reality of Shabbat. While he is sitting at the table with the Jew, as this happens when a Nohide is stu studying Torah with a Jew, there is a new level of the soul that becomes um, available for him, which is the level of Kaya. Now, on Shabbat, actually, I'll tell you it's the, it's the mystical considerations, but um, actually the levels of Chaya and Yechida come down specifically on Shabbat for a Jew. Of course, this also happens when a Jew is studying Torah or putting on tefillin and other circumstances. Um, but specific Shabbat allows the clear revelation of these two levels of the soul um, in the Jew. If a Noahide is having Friday night dinner in the house of a Jew, he will have definitely access to this level of Chaya and eventually even see a glance or a glimpse into the Yechida. Of course, a glimpse into the Yechida. Okay, the Yechida means the, the total nullification of uh, self for the sake of sanctifying Hashem's name. Okay, that's the level of the Yechida. So, um, is a Jew going to say Shabbat Shalom if a Noahid comes to uh, to spend Shabbat and it's permitted for a Jew definitely to invite a Noahid for Shabbat to his house? Definitely. Um, and he's going to say Shabbat Shalom to him, which is a cordial exchange, right? As also the Noahid is within this realm of consciousness of Shabbat, which is Shabbat we don't discuss physical things, material things, technical things, we know that we will enter into the space of divinity, okay, where we discuss matters that pertain to the world to come, to the Torah of Hashem, and to the purpose of why we are down here in this world. Now, as you understand that this is a crucial uh, uh, question within the, uh, the Jewish identity and the Noahide identity. The Shabbat, that's why it became so often a matter for debate. The, it's very important to understand the, um, the identity so each one can fulfill what he's required from Hashem. As you understand, the Jews are required to refrain from engaging within the world during Shabbat as that is their identity, to be constantly renewed in order to bring new insights or Torah insights for humanity to fulfill their purpose. Now, Noahides are not supposed to disengage 
from their purpose of fulfilling that, constantly implementing those insights, civilizing themselves, their families, their reality. Okay, this is how we are bond into the eternal service of Hashem and fulfilling our specific identities. Okay, we understand and acknowledge that we do different things so we can fulfill a unique goal together. If this is done properly, we will enter redemption. If not, we will not enter redemption. If there is a, a, a misunderstanding of our identity, we'll always want to do what the other is doing and never truly fulfill the goal and the goal will never be fulfilled. Of course, it will, but it will not include you. Okay? So if we do acknowledge the identity, oh, then we can strive towards that unique goal that Hashem requires from both of us. Okay? So, a... Uh, uh, Shabbat for us is to reconnect with the transcendent light of Hashem for no hide with the imminent light of Hashem. When the two meet, infinite and finite meet, then we have achieved that which Hashem wanted from the beginning, that we have a relationship, and the Zat Hashem, then the, the light of uh, the Torah will shine throughout all humanity, and all the world will be a fitting vessel and we will enter, in any case, inevitably, all humanity, those that understood the core identity, they will enter into the thousand years of Shabbat. We will all enter, it will be a little bit different than from the, the regular weekly Shabbat, but it will be that state of uh, unification. And Bezat Hashem, then it's, it's a new chapter that we will talk about Bezat Hashem in the coming uh, in the coming opportunities. So on a practical level, a Noahite should say something like, have a blessed seven day or have a good Saturday or what should we say to each other? Have a nice weekend. <laughs> have a nice weekend. That's also good. It, okay. Uh, it, the, you don't need to specify a, a, have a nice weekend. Uh, it's a moment that everyone has a rest. Now, the choice is where you're going to invest your energy. If it is in external things, in just thinking that we are a tzaddik by saying, uh, you know, I'm closer to, because I, no. We have to to focus our energy in study. Every nochat should say, have a nice weekend. Now I'm going to take the opportunity as the weekend to study and to pray. Okay. Thank you for your answer. Thank you. Thank you.